Hey everybody, Bobcat here up in the Main Street Farms kitchen. I'm excited to do a cooking video for you guys, uh, especially because I got something special to share with you. Uh, we were just gifted a brand new uh, cast iron skillet from this company, Field Company. It's made in the USA. Uh, it's a beautiful product right here. It's, it's pretty light for cast iron, but it's still got the heft of the cast iron, nice and smooth. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice, pretty nice pan. So I'm gonna make a um, something special for you guys. One of my favorite uh, summertime meals for this time of year. Uh, it's gonna consist of a lot of things that have been showing up in the CSA shares, or farmer's market customer, the summer staples. We got squash, basil, Swiss chard, onions, and of course, tomatoes. So I really wanted to make this meal for you guys. It's one of my favorite things to make in my uh, cast iron skillet at home, but after hearing about this thing, I think I'm gonna have to go out and buy one myself. This is one of my favorite knives for, cook for cutting tomatoes. It's a serrated knife but it's a very thin, fancy serrated knife. And uh, I love these knives for tomatoes because they just cut right into it nice and easy, right? And uh, you know, the thing with tomatoes, you don't want to like mash them up too much. If you use a regular knife, sometimes you put too much pressure on it. And uh, these knives are nice because you can just slice right into it. Ready to rock, we got the skillet heating up, getting nice and hot. Once again, thank you to the Field Company for gifting us this beautiful cast iron. I'm very excited to try it out with y'all. So, it's always important to make sure your pan is well greased. Usually I grease it after I use it, and then again, I put a little more on when I start cooking. Get that nice coating in there. Well, like any good Italian, I start with the garlic, and the onions. If you're not familiar with cooking with cast iron, it takes a little bit of a learning curve. It heats up, it holds the heat really well. It's just such a great pan. You know, I keep talking about the season the pan, how important that is. You give it a nice coat of uh, oils and um, it protects the pan and it'll last for a long time. I like to add seasonings in layers. So we're gonna do Start with just a little basic salt and pepper. Then we're gonna make a little room in the middle there. Put a little more oil in. Next up, we're gonna do the squash. All right, so now I got the squash cooking. Next up, I do some garlic powder, chili powder. All right, time to add the tomatoes. may have cut too much Swiss chard. Then do a little bit of cumin. A little more salt. A little more pepper. It's a song all about vegetables. And and I'm talking about some basil. That they're incredible. We all know that they're edible. But think about your right food here. in general. Pretty good. That's what the finished product looks like. Tomato, squash, onion, chard, basil, summer classic. Try it out. Make sure you check out our good friends at Field Company. I'll send you guys a link. Thanks for watching. Let me know what other videos you'd like me to make in the future. I love cooking, so we're going to do more of these. Cheers. Think about your food in general. It's a song all about vegetables. Remind everybody that they're incredible.